Good morning and welcome back to the kitchen. I'm in here today making uh, several casseroles to put in a, a foil pan and cover with foil to take to my daughter so that they can just pull them out of the freezer and have an evening meal. So, and I wasn't going to film anything because y'all have seen the casseroles that I'm making. I have browned up uh, about three pounds of hamburger meat and I'm going to make my lasagna, the cheating lasagna and the noodle casserole for her and um, I'm going to make um, green chicken enchiladas and I've done that one for y'all too. I've got chicken boiled but I had a loaf of the bread. Nature's Own. It's one of their artisan breads that's so good. So I thought that what I'm going to do, I've melted two sticks of butter and I'm going to add some flavoring to it. This is what I wanted to let y'all come along for. And I'm going to uh, dehydrate the croutons in my June oven. So, and you could do it in a regular oven. You could do it in your Excalibur or whatever kind of dehydrator that you have. Now, I'm going to toss mine with seasoning and some melted butter. So, I don't know how long they would last if you were thinking about long term. Probably not long with the butter in it. But we'll be eating these. I made a big pot of soup for me and Troy today. So, and whoever else gets some of it. Because we won't eat it all. I'll always share with somebody. But we're going to um, make these croutons and, and get them in the June oven. That now, I don't have a set recipe for this. But I've got all my breadcrumbs on my tray here and I've melted two sticks of butter and I'm just going to add uh, about a tablespoon of parsley because I like that color and you know I can't believe it but I think I'm about out of garlic powder I got to go to Costco tomorrow and get me some I'm going to put about a tablespoon of onion powder in it and then I'm going to put this Johnny's um, seasoned salt I think I picked it up at Costco and I'm going to put about a tablespoon of it because I want them to have some salt flavor. And if that's too much, I'll know next time to cut it back because every time I do this, it's just as I go. I don't uh, cut that parsley under my fingernail. That'll look too pretty. I just uh, kind of do whatever I want to each time. Do y'all do that ever? I am going to dip a piece of bread in it though and see how salty it is. Oh, yummy. That's good. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to try to start pouring it over and tossing it. And then if my hands will taste real good too, won't they? to buy these y'all. I didn't have sense enough to know you could make them yourself. And if you got a big old pot of soup, this is an alternative to cornbread. I prefer cornbread most of the time, but sometimes, you know when I go to Olive Garden and I get their soup and salad, I pick the croutons out of my salad so I can drop them in my soup. Does that mean I'm a country girl? Probably. Gotta have some bread with that soup. Okay, they're kind of gooey, pretty well, Some got a little bit on each one of them. So I'm going to get my trays over here from the uh, June oven, man overboard down there, and I will load them up, and we will get this going. This is so cool. I've got three Excalibur 9-tray dehydrators, because before I got my um, freeze dryer, I dehydrated everything and there's still a few things I prefer to dehydrate but uh, now I can just use these three trays here in the house my my Excalibur's are out in the sunroom on the cabinet out there one day I'll take y'all out there and I don't think I've done that yet and show you I have a sitting area on one end and on the other end I have tables and a cabinet with a sink and I have an ice box out there and um, a cabinet with a sink and um, and I have a good ice maker out there makes up to 50 pounds a day and we don't use that much but we use it on the days when I need to make my tea and cool it down I steep my tea in, in the first six or eight cups of water and then I'll uh, 
fill it the rest of the way up with ice and let it melt and that give that makes it cool quicker because you don't put it in ice box warm it'll sour on you Ooh, these smell so good I wish y'all could be here and smell them you'd be wanting to go get you a day old loaf of bread and make you some croutons because they smell wonderful I think I can steal a few from the other trays let them have more air room. What do y'all think? This one, a few. Scatter those a little bit better. There's one tray. Then I'll get a few off of this one. Okay. Now we'll go put these over there in the oven. Let me get the camera moved for y'all can watch it all the way. And uh, we'll have croutons before too many hours. Okay. I'm going to get it open. And we have three places to put racks in here. So and this is a convection oven, an air cooker. So, okay, I all have right. all three uh, dehydrating racks in the June oven and all I have to do is swipe over to dehydrate tell it to continue it's at 135 degrees yes I want that and it's going to um, give me a, a countdown on how long it's been dehydrating and we'll watch it and I'll bring y'all back when I have some brown crispy croutons that we can use with our soup. Okay, my croutons are crispy. Done. And I'm going to let them cool. And then I'm going to uh, put them in a jar and vacuum seal them until I get ready to use them. But they're, they're, cr they're crumbly crisp. So y'all see why I love this June oven. Let me show you. It will. There's the programs. But it'll bake roast and slow cook, broil, toast, air fry, dehydrate, reheat, keep warm, and then it has um, like on the programs you can uh, click on vegetables and you can tell it you want to cook, cook artichokes. And then you can see what it tells you to do. Wrap them individually in foil. Put a spoon of water in the foil. Put the food on the roasting rack in the pan. On the bottom shelf position. And then you keep going and, and it'll cook it perfectly for you. And it'll turn it off when they're done. There's just a whole list of stuff that you can cook here. But I'm going to put it back to the main one with the time on it. And when these cool down, I'll bring them out and uh, bag them. And we'll have some croutons to go in our soup. Hope y'all have enjoyed another adventure with the June oven. And a way to uh, save your bread when it starts getting older just you know use it for a different purpose than toaster sandwiches make croutons out of it season them up and they're yummy y'all come back in a day or two and we'll have something else good take care of yourself stay warm if it's cold where you are stay healthy and uh, come back into the kitchen and learn something new with me the good lord bless you